Hey guys, it's TechRan here, and today's video we'll be reviewing the USB capture card. That is right. If you guys do not know, I get a lot of questions about capture cards, especially since I run a gaming channel. Now, over the years, I've gotten people asking me what capture card should I get starting out, and of course, most people don't want to get an expensive Elgato capture card, so they finally find an alternative solution, which is this capture card right here. And today, I'm going to finally answer the long old question, is it actually worth buying? So... Let's get into specs about this. The first thing you know about this capture card, this capture card currently costs $30 on Amazon. It can bounce around $35 to $32 to even $28. That's what's currently listed at right now. But I got this for myself at $32. Now, the other thing I got to keep in mind about this, this is powered by USB 3 and also can support the 4K 30, the 1080 60. I will have a link to this capture card down below in the description. So if you do use that link, it will support the channel, which is very much appreciated. So what we're gonna do now is get into the unboxing. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so this is what the box looks like when you get it from Amazon. There isn't really much going on about it. You can see like the price level and stuff like that. But if you open it up from the top here, there isn't any tape or anything to secure it. You'll get access to the capture card now this isn't the most like fancy box of all time it's pretty cheap you're getting what you paid for you're gonna of course get access to a little manual you of course get access to the usb cable that comes with it this is usb 3 you can tell by the color and of course you'll finally get access to the capture card now keep in mind that this capture card is one of those capture cards that can be mass produced like uh like there's a bunch of people that are actually selling their own version of this so i don't know like what version is the best so you can see right here it sounds pretty good like it's pretty well constructed you of course you can see your usb in and us not usb in hdmi in hdmi out and then of course you get one mic in and also headset so this will be an output signal while this will be an input signal and then the usb 3 this is the part we're going to use to actually plug into our computer now that we've unboxed this what we're going to do is actually test this out with some footage we're also going to compare it to an elgato ht60s so yeah let's set this up what we're gonna do first is take the USB cable that actually came with this capture card and plug it into the USB port. Now with that, we're gonna take this and plug it into our PC USB header, and then take an HDMI in cable from like any device that you wanna capture. This is gonna be my camera and plug in the HDMI in on the capture card. And then we'll set this up in OBS. Now, something to keep in mind about this capture card, this capture card doesn't come with any additional software. So it should be just plug and play if you set everything up right. So I'm gonna go add devices, add a video capture device, click okay and then it should be right here usb video so oh, if, if everything works, works you can, you can see, see my, my cameras, cameras here. here okay so i just noticed if you have the capture card plugged in you make sure to mute it if you're plugging in your camera because it automatically takes the hdmi input signal and just sends it so it can have looping effect which well, that was you're hearing a little bit earlier there so we're just gonna disable our audio track right there so we don't have a looping effect so what we're gonna do next is do a comparison between the usb capture card to actually the elgato hd 60s and i'm gonna roll the footage now Now that I'm looking at this in post, can I just quickly say the capture card comparing it to Elgato to like the $30 capture card, you can actually like see the difference. So here's when I cut out the footage and this is the Elgato capture card. The colors on this one are slightly better, just a little bit more dynamic, I guess you could say, a little bit more vibrant. Comparing it to like the uh, other one, which you can see like the colors are practically the same. However, things like the text are a little bit more blurry. So like if we we're gonna compare it, like, so you can see, double tap this is like that you can see it's not as blurry and then if we compare it to like the footage prior you can see it's a little bit more blurry on that one with the background items and the text on this one's a little bit more sharper so that's just something to keep in consideration you can also tell with the colors too on the cartridges and the boxes and stuff so yeah it isn't bad per se you can definitely tell where like the most of it goes it goes most of the color and the text like the small little details overall though this capture card for thirty dollars is still pretty impressive. That's able like to still get a pretty good image out of it. And then you just add some lighting on top of it, and yeah, it looks honestly almost near identical to a hundred hundred twenty dollar capture card. It's actually kind of insane. So now what we're gonna do is do a gameplay comparison, comparing its gameplay to another gameplay. Yeah, for Apex. I, I that, that just sounds weird.
Okay, so now we're comparing the gameplay. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually quite impressed with the capture card. So the big thing with it is it's still the text and also colors. The colors are different compared to the two just by a slight difference. Now it's not anything game breaking, but it is something to keep in mind. Like, okay, Elgato. This is Elgato we can see here. You can see how the colors of this one are much, much more calm and tame with matching the settings of the game and it actually has a good control of it the text is a little bit more sharper and it's not as blurry around that kind of thing so now when we compare this to the other capture card which is this one you can see the the colors a little bit more not tamed a little bit more oversaturated they're not really controlled that well which is not a bad thing per se some people like it like that but you can definitely see where the color difference is at and then the text is actually not as sharp so you can see like the 15 Comparing it to like the 19 over here, the text is a little bit more sharper. Honestly, after reviewing this capture card here today, I can definitely say for a fact this capture card is worth it. It's literally just an HD60S for $30, but the only difference between the two is, of course, the colors are not going to be as controlled and as nice, but they will be a little bit more saturated. Which, if you're into that, go for it. The text won't be as crisp, but it it's it still works if you're not like really looking the small little details then this capture card is definitely a great entry capture card just for 30 dollars and of course if you want to grab one for yourself i will have a link down below if you do use that link it will support the channel very much appreciated but if you enjoyed my review here today then make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed because we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers before august so if you do me that favor that'd be very much appreciated bonus on i'll see you guys for a tech video tech grant out